Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make one of the projects from my newest knitting book, Layers. The Trina Floral Cutout Tank Top. Knit this sexy, simple tank with clever cutout details for a one-of-a-kind top. Trina is mostly seamless and worked in the round from the bottom up with minimal finishing. The flower petal inspired cutouts add visual interest and a subtle sex appeal. The Hippies gives the body of the sweater gorgeous drape and a flattering shape. When you get your pattern, it's available as part of the Layers Knit Book, or you can download the pattern individually. It'll show you all the different sizes that the pattern is available, how many balls of Be So Serene yarn you'll need, what gauge you'll need to achieve the correct size of the project, and also show you a stitch guide. The stitches we'll be using for this project are Knit Cast On, Knit Pearl, Yarn Over. If you need a refresher for any of these stitches, please check out my playlist and I'll pop a link to it in the video description of my knitting stitch library where you can look at all of these stitches as individual videos. Okay, so the pattern comes in small, medium, large, extra large, and 2X. The size shown is a medium. If you're following the pattern and you have any difficulty following along for which size you should be making, I highly recommend using a color highlighter. And so let's say you're making the large, you'll highlight the third set of numbers in every section throughout the pattern. If, you need, if you're new to reading patterns, it might be helpful to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this really amazing flower cutout that you see here in the pattern. And it's very simple to do. So once we go from the bottom up and we get to this point, we'll be working in rows. I'm going to show you how to do this petal and the other two petals. I'm going to be doing a reduced size sample of it. So the numbers for the actual size you'll be making, you'll need to reference in the pattern itself. Follow the links in the video description to download the pattern, order an autographed copy of my newest knitting book layers, and get information on how to order the yarn and other materials we'll be using in this project. I have a couple of rows here started for our swatch, and we're going to knit across to just before the middle of the row. And again, if you're following along in the size you're making for your pattern, you'll know exactly how many stitches to knit here. And let's see, let me, I, for this sample, I'm doing 11 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then I'm going to bind off the next three stitches, which happen to be the three stitches in the middle of the front. Okay, and when you're binding off in the middle of a row, remember you have to knit two to bind off the first one, knit another one to bind off the second, knit another one to bind off the third, and then that stitch that ends up being on your needle here after that is the first stitch of the next section of stitches. So that counts as our first stitch of the remaining stitches that we work across this row. Okay, so now that we have our stitches bound off in the middle, for the next several rows we're going to be working both sides simultaneously with two different balls of yarn. So because the yarn is already with us on this side of the row, we'll go ahead and knit these stitches. Okay, and now we're going to knit the other stitches completely unattached with another ball of yarn. So the way I like to pick up another ball of yarn is to wrap the tail, fold the tail along with the working yarn, and use that loop to knit the first stitch. Then I'm going to knit the tail and the working yarn together for a couple of stitches, and then drop the tail and continue on with my working yarn. Okay, and we'll turn our work now, and we're going to work both sides of this row with the two different balls of yarn. Okay, 
but I want to show you what it looks like when we come to those couple of stitches that we knit with both the tail and the working yarn. So notice how they're doubled here. You're just going to knit both of those strands together as a stitch. If that first one is a little bit loose, you can actually pull on the tail to tighten it up. Okay, so we'll leave that yarn here and take our second ball of yarn to knit the second side of the row. I'm going to repeat this and work both sides simultaneously with the two different balls of yarn for several more, several more rows, and you'll want to refer to your pattern to see how many rows you're going to repeat both sides with the two different balls of yarn. Okay, we're ready to rejoin the front now, so we'll knit across the first section of stitches. Then we're going to knit cast on the three stitches that we uh, bound off down there. So we turn our work and knit into the last stitch on our needle and add that stitch to the needle. Knit cast on a second stitch and knit cast on a third stitch. Then turn our work back around. And now because we're joining our both sides back together, we'll be using this yarn to finish off the row. Just leaving that second ball of yarn right where it is and we'll fasten it off later. Okay, so at this point, whatever size you're making, your stitch count should be back to where it was before we bound off down here. On the next row, we're going to purl all the way across. Okay, and on the next row, we're going to begin our separating the two sides again, only we're going to bind off a lot more stitches than we did on this row because we're making the two wider petals at this point. So again, you're going to want to reference whatever size pattern, whichever size of the pattern you're making, and I'm going to bind off differently here, a different number of stitches because I'm doing the smaller size. And just remember to bind off in the middle of the row, it's bind, knit two to bind off the first one. And as you work across the last stitch that you bind off, the remaining stitch on the needle is actually the beginning of the knit stitches for the next section on the row. So for my sample, I left three stitches at the beginning of the row, so I'm going to bind off to the last three stitches. But again, that number is different on whatever size pattern you're making, so please refer to the pattern to know which number of stitches you'll be binding off. The concept is exactly the same though. Okay, so we'll knit the last three. And so now we have a much larger open space in the middle of our work. Now we're going to use this ball of yarn. We'll end up cutting this ball now and weaving in this loose end so that we can reattach this ball on this side of the work because we're going to work both sides simultaneously now for a few more rows in two different balls of yarn. On this next row, we're going to recast on all of the stitches that we bound off here. So you'll want to refer back to your pattern to see what your number is. For me, that's going to be. For me, that's going to be 19 stitches. So I'm going to turn my work and knit into that last stitch that I knit and place that new loop on the left hand needle as a new stitch and do that 19 times total. Whatever size you're making will determine how many stitches you're recasting on. Okay, now that we have our stitches cast on, we're going to turn our work back to the front again and knit the last stitches remaining on the row and keeping in mind that those are the stitches that were worked in a different ball of yarn, but now we're going to be working all with the same ball of yarn again. So those first stitches might be a little loose. You wanna tighten them up and you'll be able to secure that down when you fasten off the second ball of yarn again. 
Okay, our next row is to purl across all the stitches on the row. Okay, and so this is what your work should look like now. On this next row, we're going to be cinching underneath this section here and that's what's going to tie it all together and create those flower pieces. So whatever number of stitches you knit across here and bound off here and then knit across here, that's the number we'll be working across to then cinch and then work across again. So for this reduced size sample, I did knit 11, bind off 3, knit 11. So you'll want to refer to the pattern to figure out what number you're doing, but otherwise you'll be doing exactly what I'm doing here. So we'll knit across to those center stitches. Okay, so before we knit the next stitch, we're going to insert our knitting needle underneath this section here into that giant hole and yarn over and pull up a loop. So we're knitting, we're picking up and knitting into that hole. Then we'll knit the next stitch and pass that picked up stitch up and over the next stitch that we knit. So we'll pick up and knit into the giant hole again, then knit the next stitch and pass the picked up stitch up and over the next stitch. Pick up and knit into the large hole, knit the next stitch, pass and then bind off the picked up stitch and then we've completed the middle section and we'll knit across the rest of the row. So basically we've just done a very small series of casting, uh, binding off and casting on and by using two balls of yarn in the two sections where we had to be separate on two different sides of the row, we were able to create this gorgeous cut out flower detail for the top of the Trina tank top. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. There's links in the video description on how to download the pattern or order an autographed copy of my newest knitting book layers and the yarn and everything else that we talked about in this project, as well as links to entire playlists for all sorts of different videos here on my YouTube channel. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.